Hi everyone, this is Angus here, and today I'm going to give you an unboxing of this Union Scene external hard drive. So it's 500 gigabytes, and it's a budget hard drive. This cost me 29 pounds on Amazon. So let's get straight into the unboxing. On the front, we have uh, the model number, it's USB 2 and USB 3, which is good. Of course, we've got 500 gigabytes of storage. It's gonna be compatible with Mac and Windows. I will be testing it today on Mac OS. Uh, it's got three years warranty, which is nice. We've got uh, some features on the back, and that's it really in the boxing. So let's get over it. We have the hard drive itself. We have a warranty card. And then it looks like we have like some instructions. And I won't be needing that. And then we just have a data cable. So I'm going to be plugging this into my M1 MacBook Air. I'm going to be using an Anchor uh, USB C hub. So, uh, if I go to the settings, uh, select target drive, and then union sim, like start. So, we're getting a write speed of around 36. Uh, of course, this is going for the adapter. Um, so, maybe if it was um, directly through USB, then it would be quicker. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's on 36, it's still deciding, and then I imagine the read and write speed would be around 40, which again is, you know, not the best. It's nothing compared to an SSD. I can easily get, you know, six, 700 megabytes per second read and write. So it's gonna be slow, but of course it's a budget hard drive. That's the main point of it. So the write speed is 39.8 which again, I guess is okay. I was expecting it to be around 100. And then the read speed is quicker. We're getting around 73, but I think that might go up to about 80. So I have around 60 gigabytes of footage on the Mac SSD, and I'm gonna transfer it all over to this. So let's see how long that takes. So if I open up the hard drive and then open up the desktop. So 63.84 gigabytes and I'm going to move that all across it's doing what it says it is it's doing about you know 60 to 70 megabytes per second which is good and it says it's estimated to take around 25 minutes so again it's on the slow side but it only cost 30 pounds but then again I remember years ago that I got a Seagate 2 terabyte SSD and I think that was around 50 maybe 60 quid so the price hasn't gone down too much and I know you can get some SSDs which are around 45 pounds uh, which are 500 gigs so I'm quite tempted to buy one of those and then compare it and then see is it really worth spending the extra 15 pounds to get those speeds so the question is do you think this is a hard drive worth buying so if you're using this for file storage for music for photography, I think you're going to be fine. But if you're going to be using it for 4K editing, it is going to be on the slow side. So I've been recently editing a project on this Mac and I've been using Adobe Premiere 2022. I've been editing 4K footage for my broadcast camera. It was H.265 and it did manage, but it was a bit slow. For an extra £15, you could get a quicker SSD. So in terms of value, I think it's great, but if you do really think that you're going to want that extra speed, then this isn't the hard drive for you. I mean, I'm going to give this a four out of five because I'm happy with the value. Um, I would have liked it to be a little bit quicker. So there is my unboxing and review of this hard drive. If you did find this review helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you very much for watching.